for them to get Haaland, I actually think that Haaland is, is uh, if not the best goal scorer, certainly up there with the top three or four. But for those that haven't seen too much of him, uh, I, 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 I urge you to go onto YouTube and check it out because some of his performances, you know, he's, he's a big, strong lad. He's, he's a left-sided player in terms of his body. He plays down the middle, of course, but uh, he's quick. He's ever so quick over short periods and he knows where the goal is. And, and if City need a player with a passing of Phil Foden, who, by the way, Phil Foden has come on in the last 18 months to be one of the best players around. What a lovely passer of the ball Phil Foden is. He can pick out uh, Kevin De Bruyne on the other. I mean, there are so many weapons that Man City have. And, and down there in London, uh, I'm in London at the moment, down there in London today, people are going apoplectic that, um, that Man City can afford to assign one of the best players in the world after being, in my view, the best team in the world. And they're saying if the deal goes through, I believe it's gone through already, just the, the announcement to come. I said this a couple of weeks ago, by the way. Um, and they're saying that if they, if they sign Haaland, City sign Haaland, they're just going to be a procession of trophies for the next four or five years. And uh, I welcome that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know me how I hate to be controversial. Um, if you go onto Twitter from a couple of weeks ago, um, I tweeted, I think it was around April, April the 25th or around there, go on to Rob Marsh 10 and check it out. I tweeted, Haaland deal is done because I was told that day that the deal had been done. Okay, so shaking the hands, the numbers, blah, 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 blah. But I was told that day, Ian and Paul, I was told that day that City are trying to unload a player. Now, I won't say, I didn't, on that day, I didn't say who it was, because I don't like speculation in the negative. Love speculation in the positive, don't like it in the negative. But if, if my source is right, I think you'll be shocked at who the player Man City are trying to unload. If, if, it, if the deal goes through and this player leaves, you'll go, Rodney, you were right and I was wrong. I am shocked. <laughs> Over the years, and you've known me, I don't want to put a negative spin. For a player that might listen to this and might think, well, you know, has Rodney found out about this? Blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to do that. I'm, I'll stick with the positives. In my judgment, and I've watched Harlem play quite a lot. In my judgment, he will play for City the way that Lewandowski plays for Bayern Munich, you know, and, and I think that, that the players at Man City will got to be very careful here not to throw the guy that's going to get sold out the window here. So I've got to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way that City will play will incorporate Haaland into their system rather than the other... Rather than when Rodney Marsh joined Man City, everybody had to change to Rodney Marsh. No, no that, that's not that's not going to happen now. <laughs> I think Erling Haaland is going to come in absolutely flying. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks, right off the bat, about my own judgment. I'm going to put him down as, as leading goal scorer in the Premier League next season. I'm, I'm going to have a bet on that. So I'm back in my judgment. I think he's going to be sensational. I think he's going to get so many opportunities to score goals. Um, now then, you've hit on something, Ian probably by accident there, and that is if you look at the way that they play Man City and, the, and you look at the way that Pep changes his, the players and the lineup in certain games, um, I think the starting players for Man City next season is going to be eye-opening. It's going to open up people's eyes because I would put Foden as an automatic starter now I will put Kevin De Bruyne, obviously automatic starter. Haaland is going to be the tip of the spear. So who's the other person that's going to play in that front front three role? Um, that will be interesting. That will be very very interesting. I've been told also that um, Man City might bring in another player, but they would have to lose a player of almost equal quality to make that change. That's what I've been told.